Okay, we just saw how technology can play a big role in our health, and robots are also changing healthcare, and that's one of the topics being discussed in an upcoming electronic health seminar at Cal State Bakersfield. Professor of Management Information Systems at CSUB and award winning author Dr. Hossein Bidgali is here to talk more about this with us. Thank you so much for coming My back. My pleasure. My pleasure. Now, robots, last week on Health Alert, uh, uh, we talked about robots. We talked about Da Vinci in the operating room. Well, Da Vinci is one of the most successful robotic surgery machine. has been around since year 2000 mm -hmm. and has performed more than 20,000 successful operations. Wow. And the forecast says that by year 2020, which is four years from now, um, business hospital and healthcare system are going to spend close to seven billion dollar buying these kind of machine. Oh, so wow. their role is increasing. So what is the advantage of having robots in the hospitals and well, operating rooms? Excellent question. First they are saying that by year 2025 which is what nine years from now mm -hmm. one out of every three job will be taken by robot or software across the all fields. Mm -hmm. The general advantages of robot, like robot, are not moody. They don't, <laughs> they don't complain. They do, do not join union. Mm -hmm. They're not going to ask for coffee break. They can work for five thousand hours without any any break. So these general advantages apply to uh, robot in healthcare. Does that mean we have no more jobs? No. They are hopefully they are going to create additional job. But for the past twenty years robot in healthcare has been used mostly for training. Mm -hmm. They train doctors, dentists, and nurses. There are robots that they can, you know, be used as a mummies and show even feeling of pain mm -hmm. when you are, you know, doing the training. And, and I don't know if you saw the video that we showed. There's also robots that disinfect hospitals. Oh, yes. So it's great for uh, just the overall uh, sanitary and health, <laughs> right? Actually, they are saying that uh, one out of 25 people in the U.S. when they go to hospital, they contract HAI, as they call it, mm -hmm. hospital acquired infection, and one out of nine that die. So this is pretty serious. Now there are robots available that if some hospital use them, the report says that they have had 70 percent. In decreases in infection. So that's wow. one of their primary use uh, application is being used as infect disinfectant. All right. We, I'm sorry, but we are out of time. And But you gave me this great book. This is your textbook. I'm going to go home and read this. <laughs> Thank Take you. me back. But I'm going to call you if I need any help because I don't know if I'm going to understand this. But uh, the eHealth seminar that you're going to be hosting is um, October 28th. We had all that information up on your screen, so hope you, hopefully you got that down. And you can also go to CSUB's website to sign up and get more information for that. Uh, but uh, Dr. Bidgali, thank you so much. And you have to come back because there's so much to talk about when it comes to technology and healthcare. My pleasure. We'll be right back.